Versus 6, an old iPhone with a cracked case may not seem like uh, much to a whole lot of people. But the memories it stored meant everything to the daughter of a murdered Detroit police officer. Only on 7, Kimberly Craig live in Westland where the officer's daughter believes the phone was stolen. And is there any surveillance video to back that up, Kim? Well, Stephen, the uh, Sequoia van says the manager here at Big Lots was really nice enough to check for her, but that surveillance video does not show everywhere she went in the store. She's now hoping the person who took the phone is watching. She wasn't just my mom. She was my dad, too, because she was all I had, and she was my best friend. In 2014, Sequoia Vance's mother, Detroit police officer Anna Hamilton, was killed in her Redford home. Officer Hamilton was murdered by her husband, who then took his own life. And since that day, Sequoia cherished her gold iPhone 6 with the cracked screen, where there were countless pictures of her mom, text messages, and voicemails. Losing my mom was the hardest thing I've ever done, and that was just my way of holding on to her. But now, that I don't have my phone and I can't have those memories. It feels like I've lost her all over again. Sunday in Westland inside Big Lots here on Ford Road is where Sequoia says someone must have swiped her phone out of her purse as she was trying to manage her young son and two nieces. And as soon as she realized it was gone, she went back into the store where she used their phone to try calling it. My heart kind of dropped once I heard my phone go straight to voicemail because I knew that someone had taken it. This picture of Sequoia and her son was on the phone's custom case. And when you hit the home button, there was a picture of her mom wearing a shirt with the words prayer, faith and hope written on it. All things Sequoia can only trust will lead to the return of her phone and the memories on it. Sometimes we take for granted like the simple things, being able to pick up the phone and call someone you love just to hear their voice. but. For me, I don't have that, so it's just the way if I'm having a bad day or just whatever, if I just need a little comfort, just to be able to hear my mom's voice, it does so much for me. Unfortunately, Sequoia says everything was not properly backed up to the iCloud, but she's hoping the phone is returned to Westland Police. No questions asked. Reporting live in Westland, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Yeah, I hope somebody is watching and will give that phone back. Thank you so much for that live report.